Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds, and let's do one of the exciting parts of beekeeping, and that's extracting honey. So we've got a couple of tools here today, and we purchased this one right here just for you all. Um, it's not what we use. We will get around to showing you the tools that we use during extraction. But I've always wondered, since this product came out, is it as good as people say that it is? And I have several friends who like it, and I just wanted to find out for myself so this is the Simply Honey Farms Uncapper, and it has a couple features if you want to come in and look at it real close. we got some our nice frames over here, they're first year combs, but what you basically have is your platform, and we just have it hooked onto our uncapping tank, one of our uncapping tanks, and we have two bars here. This one is fixed, mostly, and it does roll a little bit, but it doesn't move hardly at all. This one over here moves quite a bit. And this allows the frame to go down there as you're fixing to see. You have a couple rubber bands in here that are used to keep good tension between both the rollers. So it's a, it's a pretty basic design, but it's supposed to make extraction very quick and easy. So pretty excited to try out this product and hopefully it will give you an idea if this is something that you would like to buy. All right, so again, these are first year combs, so it makes it easy no matter what extraction system you're using hot knives cold knives uncapping forks all this kind of stuff when you have young combs especially first year combs it's much easier to do it so I don't really know what I'm doing with this but I'm fixing to attempt to do it so we just basically stick it like this right here got a good view of all and just press her on down there if you don't hit the uncapping tank, there we go. Push that down. Pull it back on up. Now check this out. It is perforated or sliced, however you want to say. All of the cells. Now it digs down into it a little bit and it will depend on your wax and how far the bees have drawn it out. This side looks really good as well. Now, you might want to run it through more than once, and you also need to watch for areas that it missed. And that's what the uncapping fork is for. Now, you just kind of see in here what's going on. You know, there's a couple cells it looks like we might have missed a little bit, especially up here on the top. Now, I have been told what you can do, and it'll really depend on your combs. If, just like with a knife or anything, if they're drawn out really good, and this is why when we are producing honey, we use either nine frames in a 10 frame box or eight frames in a 10 frame box. We're still experimenting, but we mostly run nines right now. But getting the combs drawn wide is going to make it much easier for you to uncap no matter what system you're using. So it's nice to have a good uncapping fork. You can even just uncap with one of these. I'm fixing to show you that here a little bit. But I've been told, well, I'll do the next frame. So we're just going to set this down here. And the nice thing is if that, as that drips down in there, this Man Lake uncapping tank, this is their smallest model. Um, it's going to catch all the honey that drips down there. And there's a, a little valve at the bottom of it. It's just like what you use on a honey gate for bottling honey out of a bucket. So, all right. This one, I mean, look how wide this is right here. I mean, just stick way out from the frame. And we've got some interesting stuff going on here. Let's see how it handles this one. Okay. And there we go. There we go. Whew. Now, if you have really thin combs, you might have to work it a little bit more. All right, now observe this. We missed all of this right in here. You can see how it's been slicing through right here. Now we have tinkered around with it a little bit. Laurel's done most of the tinkering. She said that you, know, you just have to watch it a little bit. And it does miss some cells. It's not a whole lot, but there is some that are missed. Let's, let's go ahead and run it through again. Now you can do this right here. Look at all that. Ooh, delicious looking light colored honey. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. I wish you could taste this. So I'm pushing the frame into this roller over here a little bit to kind of get that what's up in top right there. And just remember that 
while this is a pretty nice tool, nothing is perfect. If there's one thing I found out in beekeeping, there's always a pro and a con. So that's where this um, uncapping fork comes in handy. We can just kind of go through here and just scrape through anything that's been missed. And even if you think it's been missed a little bit, just go ahead and scrape it. And that way you don't have to come back after you've extracted it and then do it again. One of the negatives that we've kind of thought about is because of when you do it this way, pretty much all of the wax, for the most part, there's a little bit that gets in here and drops down below, but most of it stays on to the frames. And then it gets in your extractor and you have to worry about that later. I prefer having it in my uncapping tank. This has a removable, check this out if you can see this, it has a plate down in there with all those uh, holes in it. And that whole thing just comes out of here with the wax, and you can pour that into a wax melter. And then you're able to process that, process that separately from all of this liquid honey that's going to be over here. So basically, let's do one more frame. This one's a lot thinner. It's not sticking out from the frame. That's going to make it a lot harder for this tool to work. It also makes it harder with a knife. This one probably was at the edge of the box for multiple reasons. One, it's thin and uh, it doesn't have as much honey in it. It wasn't filled all the way up, so probably was at the end of the box. Okay. But yeah, I mean, that's that's really fast and just remember, I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to everything. We can see it's fairly perforated. I'm not sure it's gotten 100% of everything, but that was pretty quick. Who's to say we can't run it through again? So that is exactly what I'm going to do. No, it's, it's not a one-shot thing, and it really depends. If you have fat combs, then it makes it much easier to get it on one pass. And again, young combs makes a difference, too. Laura was trying it with some uh, older honeycombs, and you know, it was rougher, but again, a knife would be harder to cut through that as well. So that looks really good. Let's do one with the uncapping fork. And by the way, we're going to have another video. We are working on getting some editing software and a few upgrades. We've just been really, this year, doing it with a basic phone and a laptop that really doesn't have anything on it that's special. It's an old laptop, and I'm not computer savvy. Thank goodness for Laurel, we'd all be in trouble, but we're, we're fixing to upgrade a little bit so we can edit the videos. But we're going to have a part two to this where you're going to see how well it pulled all the honey out of the combs. And you'll be able to see if we need to do more work to it and kind of the wax and, and the honey and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, stick around for part two. That's a nice looking comb. So I'm just going to stick this one right here. This uncapping tank also, if you don't have one of these right here, um, Man Lake has it come with a stainless steel setup that goes at an angle that will hold the frame and they'll hold it while you're either scraping it or cutting it with a knife. So that's really handy. All right, are you grinning at my biceps? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. So you can just take your, it's better to start at the bottom, that way you're not, well, you just do however you want basically, but I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. You know, this, this works pretty good. Now Laurel has a different way of doing it. And if I could just get her to be on camera, <laughs> maybe you guys could see it. I don't, I don't attempt to do it, I've never done it before. I like a knife myself. What I like better is using a Cowan. And uh, we're fixing to do that this coming season to show you. So, I mean, look at that right there. And these uncapping forks, if you're going to get one and do it like this, get a nice one. Some of the cheap ones, um, Bend. Um, this one you can get at some of the major beekeeping supply companies. Um, I might be able to leave a comment below where we got it at. I'm not 100% sure which company it was at, but I'll see if I can look that up or have Laurel do that for me. So. I mean, look at that right there. That didn't take a whole lot of time, and you know this cost a handful of dollars, and it's it's a whole lot cheaper. So we're just going to now go to this next side, and it does take a little bit longer. It takes a little bit more muscle, but you know it's it's good for you. A little work never hurt anybody. At least that's what my dad always told me. And here I am. You know what, my dad held me in his hands when I was born. I'm sure the last thing he thought that his son was going to be, become a beekeeper. 
no one in my family really wants to help me do the bees. I've got them stung too many times. All right, so that was really easy. We are basically just going to take these other two combs over here. We are going to uncap them with, well, let me get this one. Just go like this right here. Oh, what? You want to do one? Oh, you want to do it your way? Oh. All right. Well, we'll do this one this way. We'll do the last one a year away. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and run it through. Because if you already got it in there and you feel like you want to run it through twice, you just go ahead and do that. Yeah, that looks pretty good, though. Yeah, we missed a little bit over here on the side. You know, you can scoot it over a little bit, but I'm just going to take this because it's just about as quick. And I know I'm getting it. And you know, there's a top layer up here. And, you know, if you miss a little bit, you just stick it back in your hive and you give the bees the rest of it, and that's great too. Always make sure you leave your bees enough food. Because bees are kind of like my son Jim, they eat a lot. And if they're going without, they're going to get cranky or, you know, with bees they have a high metabolism. They're going to have some major issues. Nutrition is so important and they need a lot of it. And there's really nothing better than honey and bee bread or just fresh pollen. All right, so we're going to do Laurel's way of using this tool right here. I'll try not to skewer myself, so you just take it like that, right? You just kind of run underneath. Well, that's really not so bad. Look at that right there. It's almost like what an uncapping knife looks like. And we'll have some videos on that as well so you can see how to use a cold knife. And I think we got a hot knife. That actually works pretty good. There's so many different ways you can do this. Don't look at me like I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm getting used to you being right more often than not. Pretty much when I'm right, it's usually because I got lucky. I still feel like I was wrong half the time. So, all right, so you can see how this is working. This worked really well. So there's a lot of different ways that you can uncap honey. Man, this is just so awesome. This honey was pulled in either I think first or second week of June, right before we started treating the colonies. And we have kept this for this video. Here we are in December, December. Sorry it took so long to get the video, but we have been so busy with this channel, trying to keep up with you know the, the beekeeping business. And I have a part-time job and it just all adds up and everything. And, you know, trying to be a good dad and you know listen to Laurel. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of work for one man. I'm trying. Really trying. So anyways, here's a couple of different ways just with these few tools. But this uncapper seems to be really nice. But we're going to do a follow-up video. You're going to see how all these extract and see how much honey is still left in the combs. And then we're going to show you the end product in a bottle. And who knows, maybe we'll ship one to one of you guys. As always, thanks for watching the videos.